Hi, <laughs> welcome to Sylvie's Technique Vlog as my tripod is sinking. Um, if you're not familiar with my technique vlogs, uh, they're not necessarily instructional or demonstrational. It's literally just me thinking and talking about the things that I'm working on, the techniques that I'm working on in my own process. Um, and because I think a lot analytically, intellectually, whatever, about the things that I'm working on and, and how they feel, how they move, all these different things, I talk about them, I explore them, um, I talk to you guys about what I like about them, what difficulties I'm facing with them, what's uh, instrumental about them, this kind of thing. So it's a vlog about my techniques. Um, I have a playlist on YouTube um, that you can go watch all of those for free. For the public, I have a version that kind of just introduces the idea of the technique that I'm working on and, and kind of just a, you can immediately take this and go to the gym kind of situation. And then for my patrons, I have a much longer, much more involved uh, version that really goes into what I'm feeling and exploring and understanding about these techniques. Um, if you're not yet a patron, you can easily become one. Even for uh, a dollar, you have access to the Muay Thai library, which is crazy. Um, so click on the link in the description below and you can become a patron if you're interested in that. Otherwise, welcome to the public version of Sylvie's Technique Vlog. Um, as these have gone on, if you like go on and watch uh, my older technique vlogs, usually it's just like a technique, you know, a, a particular kick, a particular elbow, a particular block, um, and how I'm kind of working on it and, and trying to fold it into uh, my style or to solve something um, about my fighting style or complications with the kinds of um, opponents I face. Um, it's one of those things where like as, as you get better, um, it's really frustrating. You never have a day where you're like, I'm awesome now and I just know everything and I've learned everything already and I'm great. That never happens. So sometimes I get people writing to me and they're like, when will I actually be good? And I'm like, here's the fun part. According to you, never, <laughs> because the things that you see just become smaller and smaller and smaller and you become really fine tooth in like the little pieces that you're trying to correct. And so your balance can always be better. Your speed can always be slightly faster, this kind of thing. Um, so this one, this particular technique vlog is kind of one of these, um, a quilt, if you will, of like pulling together different techniques in order to address something that I've talked about in technique vlogs before, which is um, staying really close. So I have a technique vlog that you guys can go back and watch that's not standing at pad range. It's actually a really good vlog. Um, basically, because we all train with a pad man, that's the range that we learn, is to just stay at this pad range all the time because that's the end of our kicks, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, that's actually where everyone trains, and so that's a really comfortable space to stand for your opponent as well. So if you do something that my trainer likes to do, which is stand just a little too close to you, it makes it so you can't breathe, it feels weird, it's like all your like calibrations are off. So basically, if you're at pad range and you're fighting someone and you decide you're just going to stand a little bit closer, it really throws them off, and they haven't practiced it unless they follow me, and you have, so this is a really great thing. This is very easy to say, right? Stand closer, get closer. Um, I'm a darn fighter. If you guys are new to me, new to uh, how I talk, maybe you've heard it from other people because it proliferates. Dern is the Thai word for walking, but it means to be the forward fighter. So you'll hear the announcers, they're like, Wan uh, Chinoy Dern, and it means like Wan Chinoy is the one who's coming forward, like he's kind of the one pressuring the fight. If you're a Dern fighter, if you're not the femur like backing up, trying to keep distance kind of fighter, uh, it takes a lot of finesse and nuance to actually be a Dern fighter who's not just like a bull plowing in all the time. Um, you can kind of become way too linear. I'm way too linear. I lose to teeps very easily, something that I'm working on, because as a Dern fighter, I just kind of like, I'm trying to smash through that space. So basically I'm comfortable here, and I'm comfortable really close here, but this range in between took me a really long time to kind of be able to strike in and defend myself in and all these things. So this technique vlog, really is about all the different pieces that have to come into play in order for you to defend yourself, which is what allows you to be a Dern fighter. If you're a Dern fighter with no defense, you're actually just getting hit a lot. Like you're just taking a lot. And if you catch them, great. If you don't, you just fucking, you kind of look like an asshole. So um, I'll give something for, for the public of something that you need to work on, something that's very, very easy um, to start out with. And then for my patrons, I'll have the, the longer, way more pieces of this puzzle that are coming together um, in order for this to work. 
but for you to just take this and go directly to your gym and start messing with this immediately is that um, sometimes part of being a Dern fighter is not necessarily always coming forward, but definitely never going backwards. There's this amazing story. <laughs> Diesel Noy was gonna be fighting, um, oh, it was someone who really pissed him off and now I've forgotten it and it's terrible that I forget this. Diesel Noy was fighting someone really scary, like someone who's just really, really scary to fight. And uh, he kind of teased Diesel Noy in the newscast when they were interviewing him before the fight. And he's like, are you worried uh, about, are you scared about fighting Diesel Noy? And this guy was like, yeah, I'm scared he's going to just go backwards the whole time, which Diesel Noy doesn't go backwards. So basically, they'll have these jokes before fights, which are whoever takes a step back loses. It's kind of like how when kids fight, they're like, whoever cries first, it's a knockout kind of thing, is that when you have two really strong, really like, uh, Dern fighters, whoever takes a step back loses. It's, it's kind of a joke. Um, that's actually becoming Muay Thai now, which kind of sucks, but like back in the day it was like, uh, it was like kind of a pissing contest. So what I'm saying here is that as a Dern fighter, something that you have to learn is that you don't want to like strike and just be kind of stumbling back all the time, or you don't want to be like kind of, you know, you can like pivot back and use that as a, as a way to like um, time your strikes and things like this, but you don't want to unconsciously be going backwards. So something that you have to train for yourself is how to stand your ground as someone's coming towards you so that you can just not go backwards and then you can start rolling the car in the, in the direction that you want to be going in. So say you're not fighting like a femur fighter who loves to go backwards. You're not fighting hippie. Like you're not going to have to be chasing someone the whole time. You're basically going to have someone coming at you because there's this ebb and flow. There's the look lap of like fighting. And so you don't want to be like coming this way and then like trying to come back this way. You don't, you don't want to be having one of these. So something that you can do is uh, learn how to catch your opponent. So the way that you catch someone, you can do this on a bag. The way that you catch someone is you basically want to learn how to not have your opponent overwhelm you. So the bag becomes your opponent coming towards you and you're just going to be stopping them and then you can start your direction going back that way. But so you don't, you don't want to be doing this, which is something, this is car hut, you know, you can like go like this, but see how my foot is actually staying where it was so I can catch the opponent or you can stop them, right? So you're actually going to be hitting the opponent in their thighs like this. Kevin and I just put up a video that's um, Samart fighting Nampon and <laughs> Samart really frustrates Nampon who's absolutely a darn fighter, but Samar is basically blocking into his crotch all the time. Um, not a foul, but definitely Nampon went home not feeling too great after that fight in his groinal region. It's so basically you're stopping people right here. So if you picture when you're stopping the bag, you're basically hitting someone in here as they're coming and trying to knee or trying to kick. And this is a good way for a Dern fighter to basically halt their opponent where they are so that they can change the direction. So you want to get used to stopping and striking back, stopping and striking back. You don't want to be, you don't want to be losing ground like this. And you definitely don't want to be doing <laughs> this. Um, there's another technique vlog that I talk a lot about this. You don't, you don't want to be hopping back off of the bag unconsciously. You don't want to make that a habit because then you just give, give distance to your opponent that you really don't need to be giving them, especially as someone who's trying to close in. If you're a shorty like me, you don't really want to be <laughs> closing that distance over and over again. So that's something you can try right away going to the gym. And uh, I'm going to continue now for my patrons uh, talking about many different ways that I'm talking, uh, that I'm working on staying close and getting close. Um, a lot of that is in my sparring right now, but I'm implementing it in my pad work as well. So if you'd like to see that, uh, click on the link in the description below. You can become a patron and uh, watch the rest of the video over there.